Hi everybody, um, so it appeared that we've abandoned the siege. Um, I just sat there for a very long time. Absolutely no reason. Um... That's really irritating. Um... I'm gonna go check out my tab. Also, I mistakenly dismissed uh, one of my guys. Um, but uh, it would seem that, yeah, we spent most of our time just chasing dudes around. Um, there would be um, lords, like other fighting parties that would come around and, and poke around and have a look, and that would be about it. They'd chase them off and engage in fights with them. And mountain bandits, and that was basically it. Well, most of the time I just stood there and kept a siege. Apparently my party was not big enough to siege, so... It's okay. I'm gonna go to my town and see what's up. Hello? Manager's Village. 23 days until that's um, messenger post is done. Let's go see if we can buy some supplies. Well, cabbages. And some apples. some more pork bread so good on the dried meat Here we go. and now we will leave so now that that's essentially been taken care of do we have any more our quest is done let's go to Sargoth see if there oh hello They're kind of far away, but yeah, but you can. Fun. Before it gets dark. Yeah. You better not be a manhunter. I am not a manhunter by trade, but I do hunt men, so I guess that's kind of the same thing. Archers. No. Come chill here. Come chill here. Come chill here. Archers. Fire at will. Tree. The rest of us will go take care of business. Presumably. Going toward the conflict, good. New enemies have arrived. I bet they wish they hadn't. Yay! 
Yay! Game winning kill cam. All right. There's prisoners. And take all their crappy gear. Lizzlet does not like Bunda. <laughs> but that is incorrigibly indisciplined. During that skirmish, I called out to him that he should hold ranks with the rest of our battle array. He called back to me that I should get stuffed. <laughs> such, sir, such defiance of proper authority is a corrosive influence on our company. I shall have him flogged if he does it again. But is a val valuable member of this company. Deal. That's really funny, though. Oh, we're gonna camp. In the morning, we we're here. Should we up here? Air Vanguard, you can be a merciful Get a North Warrior and everybody else is kind of done with their thing. I wonder if there's still a tournament going on here. 34 Sea Raiders. Hello. Oh, whatever. Oh, there is a tournament. Okay. This is the tavern. Air blade, tavern keeper, traveler. Who are you? Greetings, fe uh, fellow traveler. Perhaps you can help me. What was that? She'll tell you, but know that it is a tale of gross iniquity. And warn you in advance, lest you are of a <laughs> cleric temperament. And so become incensed at the injustice done unto me that you do uh, yourself a mischief. And by training in a uh, natural philosopher, but condemned by the jealousy of the thick-headed doctors of my university to make my living as an itinerant surgeon, I was hired by a merchant of this city to cure his son, who fell into a coma after a fall from his balcony, I successfully trepanned the patient's skull to reduce the cranial swelling. For those of you who don't know what uh, trepanation is, that's where you drill a hole in somebody's skull. Um, it's a practice that was uh, fairly popular up until the 19th century. Um, practice kind of in a lot of places all over the world. Uh, there are still a few practitioners of it, uh, but... Generally, a doctor won't do it unless you have like some sort of brain injury. But there are some people who have absolutely nothing wrong with them and choose to do it on their own because they get some sort of feeling of, I don't know, freedom or something like that from it. I don't know because I have never drilled a hole into my own skull. But apparently they have some sort of transcendent, uh, transcendental experience. Um, I can't attest to that, but... They do it with, you know, power tools and stuff like that. Something I definitely don't recommend doing. Anyway, um... Reduce the cranial swelling, but the family ignored my advice to treat the ensuing fevers with a tincture of willow bark. And the boy cried. Uh, and the boy died, rather. A uh, tincture of willow bark is probably just aspirin. Um, the father, rather than reward me for my efforts, charged me with sorcery. Me, a philosopher of nature. Such is the ignorance and ingratitude of mankind. Lord of this castle is reluctant to place me under arrest, but I am anxious to move on elsewhere. Well, use you, your doctor. Your surgeon. Okay. I treated a variety of wounds before I was a surgeon. I was a student, so you may not have reflected. Welcome to our company, doctor. Good. Oh, you didn't even ask me for cash. Right. Well, that's a thing. Um. Go to the marketplace and give this guy a horse and stuff. Um. Damn thing. Um.
gonna leave because I want to talk to this guy. We're gonna move you up. Yep, I know that it's the time for the end of the video. Thank you very much. Okay. Talk to you. Let's see your equipment. What do you have? A staff, a eh? And a pilgrim disguise. Well, you kid it out. Maybe we can probably do better than that staff. Uh, oh yeah. So... Of course. Uh, what are your skills? Pretty much booty at fighting. Okay. But you're awesome at all of the medical skills. Fair. Um... And we go over here. Here, please. Crap. Um. Get him. Old heater shield. Why not? Up further and some heavy throwing mats. Get him a sword or something. Strength of man. Have a strength of man. Nope. And a battle axe. The foul shoot. Deal with that. Okay. Ooh, you can just carry that. All right, um, let's see your equipment. Put that lance there for you. Get you a heater shield. There you go. You're all kitted out. There we go. Mike loves you, baby. All right. So that's going to basically wrap up this episode. Uh, if you like this episode or you just want to support the series, feel free to go ahead and click on that good old like button. If you haven't subscribed and you feel like that's something that you want to do, that button is there too. If you have any positive or negative feedback, feel free to leave it in the comment section down below. If you would like to join me on Facebook, Twitter, or Steam, you can do that by clicking on one of the links in the description down below, and they should bring you right to where you need to go. But I have been Mike, and you have been you, and this has been Mountain Blade. Thanks very much for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye!